It's my honor to be uh, meeting today with one of America's strongest friends and allies and a, one of Europe's uh, strongest and best leaders. Thanks. I, uh, I appreciate uh, Gerhard Schroeder's uh, openness, his, uh, uh, his grasp of issues that are important not only to Europe but to the world. I told the press earlier that we've had a very, very positive dialogue. We discussed a lot of important issues, how to expand global trade as well as how to assume our responsibilities as wealthier nations to the poor nations in a constructive way. And uh, it's, been a, it's been a very good experience and uh, it's also been a positive experience to be able to again sit down with friends and continue our dialogue from the days gone by. So, Mr. Chancellor, thank you for being here. Thanks. Uh, I'll be glad to answer a couple of questions on you. And then Mr. Randy. President, Mr. Chancellor, can you both address whether you've reached any kind of accommodation on global warming and the Kyoto Treaty? We have reached an accommodation, and here can it is. It? Yeah, I'd be glad to. Uh, we both agreed to reduce greenhouse gases, and we both agreed to continue dialogue. On how? The dialogue on how? On how, on? right. And, uh, I have, will explain to the Chancellor that uh, our nation will come with a strategy. We're in the process of developing one, but my, uh, I can't be any more sincere than I have been in saying that uh, we need to reduce greenhouse gases and we'll work a plan to do so. Uh, but I've also been very open with uh, the Chancellor from my very first visit at the, in the Oval Office that uh, the methodology in the Kyoto Accord uh, is something that uh, that would uh, it would harm our, our nation's economy and therefore we're looking for different alternatives to achieve the same goal and I will tell you this in uh, Sweden uh, Chester Schroeder was very um, uh, very strong in his statement about Kyoto and very positive about his position there on the other hand uh, was uh, was uh, explained to the other leaders that uh, uh, that uh, my position, while he didn't agree with it, was one that he understood and was, um, and I appreciated very much his leadership there. Mr. President, es ist richtig. Die Ziele, die wir miteinander haben, sind gleich. Wir sind beide der Meinung, dass wir die Treibhausgase substanziell reduzieren müssen. Wir sind beide der Auffassung, dass wir auf einen intensiven Dialog angewiesen sind. Und den werden wir auch führen über die jetzigen Verhandlungen hinaus. Und es ist genauso richtig, dass wir in der Frage des Instruments Kyoto-Protokoll unterschiedliche Ansicht sind. Die haben wir freimütig und offen und freundschaftlich miteinander diskutiert, wie sich das unter Freunden gehört. Da gibt es eine Differenz. In den beiden anderen Punkten sind wir gemeinsam der Auffassung, dass wir alles tun müssen, um äh, Treibhausgase zu reduzieren. Right. Um, certainly, um, the President is very right in just saying that uh, we do share the same targets here. Both of us are thinking that it is uh, very important that we do substantially reduce greenhouse gas emissions. That is very important indeed. And we will obviously have to get into a very intensive dialogue about these things. Those, this will have to happen. Some things will have to happen as a consequence of it. Now, obviously, on the tool of Kyoto as such, we do differ when it comes to the assessment thereof. But obviously, we have done so in a very open, in a very friendly matter, dealing with one another in a constructive way as friends, and I think friends do deal with these things as friends, and we certainly do. Randy? Yes, sir. Uh, do you plan to make a specific <clears throat> proposal to uh, President Putin tomorrow on a strategic framework? Do you see an outline or something? I, I, I plan to have a very um, honest and open dialogue with the President uh, that uh, will continue our, our uh, discussions about uh, how to keep the peace. I intend to share uh, with uh, the German Chancellor the, uh, what are the nature of our discussion in the past and again what I intend to talk about tomorrow. Uh, I, uh, I think it's very important for us to continue making progress on whether or not we can agree to a new strategic framework. Uh, as well, um, we will have um, uh, t high level talks with others in my administration with the Russians and 
uh, it's a very positive development, I think, for the world. It's a, uh, the, um, I can just tell you right now that my relationship with President Putin is better than it was in Slovenia by virtue of the fact that we're spending more uh, informal time together. Uh, one of the benefits of this, these meetings is, is that we get to see each other at, uh, at places other than just sitting around round tables uh, discussing uh, issues. And so at the receptions, uh, we've been able to have some, you know, some uh, idle chatter. Some of it uh, may be of interest to you, some of it probably wouldn't be, but nevertheless it's able, we're able to continue a dialogue in a very friendly and open way, and I think that's going to be very important f uh, for our, our ability to work together in, on a lot of issues, uh, particularly that of a, a, a new strategic framework. But do you see, do you see discussing things like specific numbers or his plan for joint? I think, I think it's probably best that I talk to him first. <laughs> 